Hey, it's John of Chicago South SEO and Website Services. Today I want to show you how to create a website link in your WordPress blog or your WordPress website. Now, as always, or in most cases, we are starting from the WordPress administration dashboard. And to add a link, you simply come over to the left sidebar and you select the links menu. Now, you can click it directly or you can slide and you can select uh, the sub menu. But in this case, let's just go ahead and click links. So we'll click links. It's going to take us to, uh, I'll call it the links library, but it's going to show you all the links that are already present or links that we've added. Incidentally, these particular links that you're looking at are standard in most or to my knowledge all WordPress installations and these are just default links that come with the installation. Now of course you have the you have the ability or the your preference to remove these if you choose to do so but they basically just they just provide links to all sorts of organizations. In this case to add a new link you simply come up to the add new link and you click on that and that's going to take you to the add new link screen and basically all you do is you just kind of fill in the information for instance uh, we fill in the name you don't have to do this but if I'm correct if you don't do this it will just show the website address but we'll fill in the name today we're going to be adding a site called the empowered if I can get this right empowered woman network and this is just an example and incidentally the empowered women's network is a umbrella site for uh, three other websites but let's go ahead and fill out the information we put in our website name now it asks for the website address we'll go ahead and put that in that's the URL or website address for our example location a description and what we'll do for a description is we'll put we'll just say one of the web sites that we like and that's just uh, information uh, now at this point you need to select a category right now we only have one category it's called blog roll um, we are uh, you also have a tab here where if you had several categories it would show you the ones you use the most but to we want to create a new category and to create a new category you simply click on add new category this link and it will make that give you the ability to do that and you just come right here and you just type in and we'll just call it sites we like and so the and we'll click add and so now we've created a, the category a new category and then you have to select what's called the target um, blank which basically means that when the link opens up it'll open up in a new browser window top basically means it'll open up in the same window but it will to make sure that you're at the top of the page and then none it'll just still keep you in the same or the current window um, I always struggle with what's the difference between top and none but um, if I'm correct if you don't do anything here it will I believe default to either top or none and then below what you have what's called the link relationship now I don't use these but what you could do is you could further identify the relationship you have with uh, the uh, with the website that you've just added I'm going to ignore this uh, for this example if you want to read up more about this simply go to you'd want to go to wordpress.org and you can search for link relationships or X F N. Feel free to do that. And then there's other advanced information. For the sake of this example, we're going to ignore this. Um, incidentally, if you have any sections in here that you don't ever care to use and you don't want to, if you have multiple users and you don't want to confuse them, you can simply click on that down arrow and you hide that. Okay, so we've added our link. We've put all our information in. Now the next thing we do is we simply click on add link. And that's going to add our link our link has been added and then it just refreshes the screen and it puts you in a position to add another link we're not going to do that we're simply going to come back to the links menu and click on the sub menu that says all links and it's going to bring us to all of our links and as you can see right here our link has been added 
there's our links URL there's the category and whether or not we want to make it visible there was a section right above the add link that you can select and mark private I'm not quite sure why you would do that although some people do it I don't create a link unless I plan on using it um, so here's our link if you needed to edit it or make a change you just click on edit and as I was mentioning before there's that uh, keep this link private we're gonna ignore that you'd make whatever changes you needed to make and then you would simply click on update link now your next question is probably how do I get the link or how do I how do I show the link on my web page right I'm going to show you how to do that now in order to do that you would simply have to go to the appearance menu and then come down to widgets and you would click on widgets and that's going to bring us to the widget section now the widget that you need to select to display your links is simply called links and in this particular version of WordPress or this WordPress theme we have several selections or several places that we can drag this but we want to show this on a, what's called our main sidebar now your theme may be slightly different but the process itself kind of works the same if you're trying to add a link to a sidebar you need to find a drop down section that simply says sidebar or menu sidebar and you simply take the links widget and you simply just slide it in this case we're sliding ours to the main sidebar it allows you to position it above or below other widgets you may have installed in this case we don't have none so that's not a big deal now you here have the ability to show all of your links or you can just show a particular category in this case we'll just go ahead and show them all for now we won't change anything and there are some other settings here uh, if you did make a change and this is the number of links to show we'll leave that blank we'll quickly say save we'll click the save button we'll click close now we want to we want to verify our links we simply just view the web page and I'm gonna just right click here and I'm gonna open this in a new link tab and we'll click on this and as you can see here's our sidebar and here's the sites we like category there's our blog roll those are those links here's the sites we like category and if we click on that I'm gonna go ahead and close this one down if we click on that this should bring us to our website that we've added and as I said before it's called the empowered women network it's an umbrella site for uh, three other websites one being what's called chocolate therapy for women it's a seminar website if I'm correct another called mother wit which is simply a newsletter or a parenting newsletter that's specifically written written for moms and then the website known as the savvy woman which is a women's resource site with some great information I know that's a bit much but uh, hey, it's my video in any case that is how you add a link to your website blog on your website uh, your your, your your, your WordPress uh, website I am going to click here because I always want to end at the dashboard and so that's how you add a link that's how you create it that's how you add it to your website I hope that this video has been helpful for you uh, there are other videos on my website uh, Chicago South SEO and website services there are also some fantastic articles about uh, building websites uh, how to ensure that your your website gets uh, can be found in Google things of that nature take care and have a great day